exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their... The prodigal son, Shane McMahon, steps into the ring where he will stop at nothing to win. What impact! What a strike! Crashing down the hard way. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Knee drop. One thing you can't take away from Shane McMahon, Corey, is that he has shoulders on the mat. Nailed it. Easily kicks out of that one. He just powered out there, Cole. Ooh. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. That's what you call a bad landing. You guys brought up a great point about SmackDown. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Set him up. Here comes the big splash attempt. Single leg Boston Crab cinched in. Can he finish the job? The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Boom! <laughs> Super kick! Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In this six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Brock Lesnar is about as unstoppable a superstar as we've ever seen. His losses are few and far between, and when they do... Uh-oh. Superman punch! Good night! I'm not sure how much he has left. One of the greatest strikers in the game right now. This is going to be big, one way or another. You gotta believe this one's over. Corey brought up the lightning in a bottle scenario of surprising Brock Lesnar as we saw Goldberg do a few years ago. Byron, would you say any other strategy can work against the Beast? Well, the other men who handed Lesnar a high-profile defeat were John Cena and Triple H. Both men worked on Lesnar's midsection and scored lucky shots en route to victory. Though I should note that Lesnar followed up both of those losses by being completely dominant in the rematches. You can always just let the air out of his tires before he gets to the arena. Harsh impact. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh, wow. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget. Jey Uso got something in mind. What's it gonna be? Yeah. Oh, boom. Daddy never did that fast. But is it enough to end it? 
This is Jey Uso's chance. Oh, what impact. Boom, what impact. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, this might be it. Oh, my. Oh, what a slam that hurt. What a stomp. Good grief. Super kick. There are times during a six-man tag. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Beautiful technique. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. Nailed it. Oh, look at this. Locked in. Submission move here. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag match. Shane McMahon. Big move coming. Boom, what impact. This is all but over. Momentum is fully in the corner of Shane McMahon now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here's Shane McMahon into the quick cover. He kicks out before three. Gonna have to put in a little more work than that. Heavy duty right hand. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Boom, right across the small of the back. How can Roman Reigns be put on the offensive quickly here? At this point, I'd say he's probably better off taking a tag to one of his partners. Oh, man. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. We've all seen him come back from much worse. Boom! <laughs> Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Shane McMahon with the opportunity here. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trio. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. Beautiful technique. Boom, right in the button. Nope, reverses it. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, Roman Reigns unable to be contained. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Down with the Samoan drop. Oh, right to the face. Destroyed. Superman punch. He might have just ended this. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors, what's Roman Reigns putting together here? Ooh, what impact. Wow, I, I gotta say that I'm in shock. I really thought Lesnar would look better here tonight. Corey, check this out. Yeah, that was amazing. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are... What's Brock Lesnar putting together here? Oh, boy. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Looks like Jey Uso is broke. Counter here. Knocked him right off his feet. Yeah, no kidding. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Oh. Someone on the team has to step up in right away. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of oh. competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. That's looking for the win. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Yeah, he's got some magic work, and that's for sure.
Brutal stomp, but it oh. doesn't end there. Oh, no. It oh! Here's his moment, Michael. He so literally grew up around greatness. And you can see that Jay is carrying on that tradition in certain maneuvers he performs in the ring and specific aspects of his appearance. When you're talking about legendary, it doesn't get much bigger than the Anawai family. Jey Uso learned at the feet of some of the greatest competitors this business has ever known. Jey's doing a heck of a job as a WWE superstar in his own right. This could end it in... This might be it! Oh, my. That almost came out of nowhere. The Miz's chances just went from bad to worse. Something that is open. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Jeez. When this guy's on, look out. Dominating shoulder tackle. What does the Miz have to do at this point to stay in this match? Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up. He might have Superman punch, but he's got to capitalize now. The Miz has won a WWE here. Spear! The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Oh, a flying forearm on the mark. The Miz was able to get out of the way there. Byron, you discussed keeping an eye out for the skull crushing finale, but when the Miz has your defenses lowered, it's not easy to escape. What do you say, Corey? Well, if you've messed up and the Miz has started the skull crushing finale, I could suggest two things. Brace for impact and hope you regain consciousness before the pinfall. When Jimmy starts rolling like this, look out below. Here we go. Oh, man. The Miz with a nice reversal. The Usos have accomplished a... The Miz is looking at this. Oh, my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Never underestimate The Miz's awesomeness. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. I had the pleasure of calling the action on Monday Night Raw when the Usos defeated one of the most decorated tag teams in sports entertainment history in the New Age Outlaws. The Outlaws tried every trick in the book to keep their crowns, but the Usos were one step ahead. The momentum that the Usos created for themselves with what Jimmy Uso set to fly. When it's superplex! Oh man, did you see the impact? Watch it, Miz. Jey Uso knows better than anybody that if you ain't taunting, you ain't trying. Looks like Jimmy Uso starting to sweat here. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. He obviously came into this match intent on taking the fight to the outside as much as he could. Though I'm not sure that's the right approach. Corey, you spoke about one of superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize... Arm is grapevine. Trying to step through. Uh -oh. Here it comes. Oh, this is going to be painful. Half Crab is locked in deep. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. What an amazing six-man tag match. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Roman Reigns
Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. And it's Jimmy Uso leading the team to victory here tonight. I can't say that I'm all that surprised about the outcome. When it's your night, it's your night. And it looks to me like our winner is already... I just want to dance all night to get my problems out my Tell me what you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that